Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We will be going in that order. Let's get your card of focus for the day. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Do Aries first. All right, Aries, you have imagine. Leo. You have yin, the female energy there. And Sagittarius. Way too many. I'll go with this one. Never ending story. Uh oh. Are you in a cycle with someone or something that never seems to change? goodness. <laughs> All right, Aries. <clears throat> this is why I don't use these cards very often because they are so slick that they, I, and they're so big for my hand that they're hard for me to shuffle. That's why I hardly ever use them, but they're beautiful cards. All right, Aries. Aries, I feel like it's time for you to make a move, to take action. Instead of just thinking about it, don't just think about it, be about it. Aries men, the king of wands, take, that, take action. Aries females, two of wands, sitting there thinking about taking action. <laughs> Bottom of the deck and your situation of the day is the magician. The challenge to that is the five of cups. In your recent past, you are getting over that heartache. In the near future, you have the Nine of Cups. In the bottom of the deck, in the base of your uh, reading, in your foundation, is the Knight of Pentacles. Waiting on somebody who is so slow. Um, you, are, you can create whatever you imagine is yours. If you can dream it, you can create it, you can have it, you can be it, you can whatever. If you can dream it up, it's yours. You have to start looking at the positives of things, though. You can't keep looking at what went wrong. You have to look at what went right, or you're going to continue to create negative situations. You are getting over heartache of the past, both of you. Uh, Aries, you're finally feeling back in your power. You have a vision of the future. You most definitely are a visionary and creating something new. I feel you could be starting a new business, but you're following your true heart's desire here, and your prayers have been heard, and your about to be answered they're about to be answered you could be um you know secretly creating something that you don't want anybody to know about you're not telling anybody but it is going to propel you forward in the future um in success as long as you focus on the positive and know that whatever um you want to create you can create you could be making communication to somebody about this um, if not, this is opening up to somebody who you have not been speaking to um, or they haven't been speaking to you and they are now contacting you. Um, and ultimately, everything is going to work out. Um, why is the Nine of Cups here in the outcome? Yeah, this person, had it had to happen this way. This person had to go within and make a, a major decision um, that's coming out of silence. It's coming out of delay. Um, they are speaking to you and it is moving forward in a positive way. Um, and you're going to feel like everything you have wanted is here for you. Congratulations, Aries men. Aries female, you're making plans for the future um, with somebody who you think can fill up those cups. Could be dealing with a Pisces or uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. We got Gemini and Virgo here as well. You're wanting to create, you're manifesting this connection into your life. Um, you have been thinking about this, thinking about this for a long time. 
You, however, had to get over a heartbreak and betrayal of your past. I don't feel like this is the same person. You're finally being able to move forward, move on, getting over the regrets, getting over the heartache of somebody of the past, and really manifesting a new future in front of you. Um, your prayers have been heard. The divine is working on your side, and it's going to bring you in happiness. Um, so much beauty and joy. Stepping into a warm path. Things are coming to light as well on how you can move this forward. Very heavy Pisces energy here. Um, but this is going to turn into a very loving and, and nurturing relationship when this offer comes in. But you must make the choice to move forward, Aries females. All right. Very positive reading for you guys for today. Um, the night always takes small calculated steps, but they are the only ones that finish uh, the race as well. So whatever you're doing now, whatever action you're taking, whatever steps you're taking, it is going to bring you success, um, Aries. All right. We got Leos on the board with our yin energy, allowing your feminine energy to lead the way. All right, Leos. Leos, Leos, Leos. There we go. All right, Leo men, you have the king of swords taking an action. Leo females, you also have the two of cups. The situation at hand is the queen of wands. The challenge is the devil. In the recent past, you have the seven of wands. In the near future, you have the king of pentacles. In your foundation is confusion and mindfuckery. Sorry, but... When this is the foundation and this is the challenge, it, it, you are dealing with energy that is not good. Could be uh, dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Taurus, or we got, well, this is you. You're coming in in your own element, but your, neat, your challenge today is the devil. Could be a Capricorn man that you work with, possibly, um, for you females. Uh, your challenge is to get out of your own way. This is obsessive thoughts, worrying over nothing. Be that confident, beautiful, you know, uh, vibrant, exuberant woman moving forward. Take charge and allow those thoughts to dissipate. Um, they're not real. Whatever is holding you back, you can break free from. For some of you, you're fighting addictions. For some of you, you are battling um, the ending of a connection so you can move forward and find that true love. Um, well, since I already started on Leo female, we'll just finish out with Leo female first. Yeah, you're doing what's best for you and walking away. Um, you are walking away from somebody who you feel isn't good for you and can't give you the two of cups you desire. There's just been a lot of fighting and conflict. Like you have to prove your value, your worth. And the Queen of Wands does not have to prove shit. She knows how good she is. She knows how hot she is, how amazing she is. It is going to bring you in somebody who is much more stable. Um, I am feeling heavy Capricorn again or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Um, wow. So I just said Capricorn Taurus Virgo or Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You have two people coming in. One of them is going to... Uh, be toxic for you. The other one is not. You could then have a third-party situation. Um, Leo females, where you have the two options and not giving enough to the relationship. First and foremost, you need to find balance within your own life after leaving this toxic connection. When you leave that toxic connection, allow that healing, find that balance, and stability and love with a water sign is very heavy there. For you, um, you could pick a can, uh, king of pentacles, a Capricorn, but I don't really see it because Capricorn was there in the reverse. Um, but you are walking away from somebody and moving towards somebody you feel will offer you that love that you are desiring. For you, Leo men, you have the king of swords. You're taking action. You're not speaking a whole lot to somebody right now. You just got the queen of wands that flipped as well. So you have your eye on a very very, you know, hot person. You just, you desire this person a lot. You're looking at them though, and they're looking away. 
So you could be wanting to take action towards this Queen of Wands. She could be dating other people. Um, and you're just not ready to deal with that. Um, you don't want to be caught up in somebody. I mean, you want a one-on-one -on -one connection with this person. Wow. The two of you are this perfect vibration. This is your person. Um, but give it some time. Um, allow some space uh, because you need to heal. You're coming out of a negative situation because you're uh, also battling the devil. So you could be needing to leave somebody who you are tied to um, so you can be with this person. Um, if not, they need to leave their um, toxic ways behind them. It's going to take some time. So just sit back, relax um, before this can come forward. Uh, Leo men, you are going to come into a stable connection with this person after whoever's coming into this with a broken heart is able to heal that heart. Love will win and the two of you will be together in the end Capricorn or Leo uh, men. All right. Beautiful energy. Sagittarius. You are feel like you're going in a never ending cycle. Every time you feel like this is it. Something blows up in your face. 37 breaks down to 10. You're at the end of a cycle. My friends, you have the opportunity, the option to break the cycle now. If you continue on with it, the cycle will repeat itself. But right now you have the chance to break that cycle and move forward, leaving the toxicity behind, the heartache behind, um, and whatever else has held you back. Um, so break that cycle before it starts over again. All right, Sagittarius. Sagis, oh, whoa. Okay, awesome. All right, Sagittarius men, you have the three of swords in reverse. Sagittarius females, you have the four of pentacles. Your guys' challenge or situation of the day is the nine of cups, challenged by the six of cups in your past. You have the four of cups in the near future. You have the two of swords uh, that your foundation is the tower. So, like I said, never ending. But the card right under that is the wheel. So it is ending. You have the chance to end it now. End this cycle before you're here again in a year. Because beautiful things are waiting for you to come in when you put this to rest and move forward, gaining that confidence back and moving forward. All right, Sagittarius man, you're getting over some heartache um, in your past from somebody who did not see your value or your worth. You feel heartbroken that this didn't work out. Um, you're hoping and praying for this person to return to you. Your, your memories are getting in your way of moving forward, of making things happen. Um, you just can't seem to shake this person. But it seems like they're always doing this kind of shit to you. You're struggling moving forward. Even though your heartache has healed from the past, you're still struggling to move on from this person. You feel there's a very strong soul tie to this, connect, or to this person. Yeah, you're unable to move from them. Wow. You feel like you're destined to be with each other. You feel like this is everything I want. So why is it not coming to me? Um, there is a choice that needs to be made. Um, you need to sit with your options and allow your intuition to uh, bring you to a new start because um, you shouldn't have to defend your value or talk somebody into your worth. This is just going to re keep repeating the cycle if it's not broken. It, the end you can't keep fighting this. A choice has to be made. Either completely disconnect from them or completely move on from them. Um, get one more. Yeah, because after this, you'll find victory. You'll find that commitment that you're hoping for, that you're wanting, that you're needing. Um, and it will come for you when you make a decision um, to move on from this person or to um, fully commit to this person one way or another. Your prayers have been heard. They're being answered. And it's going to bring you in um, positive things. But you have to um, stop reliving the past through your memories. All right, Sagittarius females, you're holding on tight to something. And those are your emotions. You're not wanting to invest any time 
or any love or any thought to anyone besides yourself. You, um, you made an offer to somebody in the past and they resisted it, not seeing what you truly had to offer. And now they're back wanting your attention. And guess what? You ain't giving it. Because even though you prayed and wished and hoped for things to turn out to where they would return, you keep remembering the way that this person treated you. You keep remembering the times over and over again that they were in and out of your life, leaving you destroyed time after time. So you're not giving in to this person. You're not giving anything out. You could be not speaking to this person. Even though you wished and prayed for them to return and now they're back, you're not, you're, you're learning your lesson, I guess you could say. You're not wanting this to turn out like, you know, the past how many times. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? You could be connecting with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but um, could be a Virgo here with the Four and the Eight of Pentacles for me is both Virgo. But in the past, this person didn't want to work on things. They left you with all the burden, all the sadness, all the heaviness. Um, some of them could have returned to a marriage. Um, and now they're back. They want your attention. Now they want you to choose them. Yeah, and this is just going to bring more toxicity, more heartache, more sadness. And you're realizing that. You most definitely are breaking the cycle for the majority of you. Um, moving forward towards something more stable, more promising, more um, investment, where someone's going to return the investment. Why is it two of swords here and there? Future energy. Sagittarius females. Yeah, you're, you need to make a choice to who to give your cup to. One of these people is a very beautiful connection, a very soul-tied connection, and then the other one's going to bring conflict and competition and stress. Um, I don't feel that you're going to um, give it to this person of the past uh, who went back to a marriage or who didn't want to work on things before, leaving you to carry the burden. I do believe you're going to successfully move forward and offer your love to a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, Sagittarius and Fire Signs, thank you for joining me for your daily read. Much love to you all. I will see you next time. God bless.